Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. In this video, we will talk about some of the common questions we get from new members or people who are new to our platform, how to learn Active Directory skills. Now, this is a very common question and it's basically a very valid common question. A lot of people do look for it and it's actually, there is a very big need for learning Active Directory. And the reason is simple. Most of the companies that we work in right now, and if they're going to hire you for IT support or systems administrations or anything like IT infrastructure related stuff, a lot of these companies are using it because of this hybrid technologies that we're using these days. So you have a company, you have a server, internal, internally all these machines, users are being managed by Active Directory. And nowadays, of course, you have cloud in there too, but of course, we're not going to get into that right now. Most of these uh, you know, requirements come from when a lot of people look for jobs. So if you just search about Active Directory as a term, it's huge. I mean, every it hits almost every title in IT industry, like cybersecurity, and most likely you're going to see this under support section, even systems administrations, very big in that. So this is where you know we have to then ask a question to our members are you looking for skills in terms of support or are you looking for skills in terms of systems administration so this really makes it easy for us so then of course we will have to tell our members that there's a way to learn active directory skills in terms of support and there is a way to learn skills in terms of systems administration so very simple if you're brand new to it you have not worked before and you're looking for it support positions you're actually looking for active directory management and support that is going to be at the basic level what am i talking about i'll show you that in a second if you ask for active directory to be learned like a sysadmin where you want to now manage Active Directory in terms of uh, kind of like, you know, uh, troubleshooting Active Directory, where it's coming from, where is it installed, how do you do some type of backups, restores and things like that, or maybe you want to do some advanced stuff on Active Directory, this would be this person right here. Um, of course, the title that I'm using is just generically a normal title that people accept the skill under, but of course, like I said, you could be any advanced title in IT and you could be using Active Directory at that level. So how do we help our members uh, in terms of, uh, you know, we have different type of members and we offer a lot of free courses. We have plus membership, we have premium membership. So today I want to give you a very practical approach. Whether you're a free member, whether you're a plus, whether you're premium, you will be following this exact steps if you want to learn Active Directory from basics to advanced. So I will start with the free level first. If you have a free membership with us, what I'm saying is that you go to our website, you're registered, and then you simply have access to our dashboard like this. With this level, even though you're a free level, you have a lot of courses that you can take uh, with Active Directory uh, management. So what I'm talking about is that if you go to our page, which is called jobskillshare.org slash free this is kind of like the top courses that we uh, uh, we provide for free and these are full courses that are available for free what's not in this courses that some courses are basically uh, this course is for everyone uh, all of our members will start from here so some members will have additional access like labs maybe partner portal access like different courses inside this course we don't teach a lot of theory so yes we will offer more services but overall this course is for free but in terms of Active Directory, the first recommendation for you, if you want to get practical, you would have some type of virtual box environment in your home. So if you're using a free, a free membership, or even if you're a plus member, it doesn't matter, or premium member, if you have your home lab, you can still kind of practice on your own Active Directory. So for this, I highly recommend you go to the website, which is jobskillshare.org slash free, and come down to the course, which is called the step three step four course which is active directory users management in this course you're going to learn everything at a user level support level 
okay this is where people are going to come and ask you do you know how to add a computer to active directory uh, users to active directory groups management resetting a password basic troubleshooting if somebody got locked out what do you do all of that stuff will be available over here maybe one session over here that's probably older but we kind of like you know limit it to plus members but it's really kind of uh, the whole course is free over here and then of course you don't want to miss at this part where you get into the course then there's additional resources for you that even can take you to advanced level like for example external resources where you go to information and then live training that we have done is one of the best videos on our youtube if you watch this video this video right here is a one hour video one, one more than one hour i can guarantee you that it, it will no longer be an issue for you to know that which type of basic questions do i really need to know for interview and if you started working in, in a real environment you will not have any problem after watching this first live session i can guarantee you that if you finish this course then i can definitely guarantee you that you will be very confident when you go to a job and those level one type of calls like i want to add someone to active directory resetting a password troubleshooting active uh, accounts and things like that you will have no issue and all of this is available for free you do not have to pay any money if you're in this level so now we have another level too like you know some people may say hey okay i know the basics over here um, but i am a paying member how can I get help over here? So if you are a free member, this is the area that we cannot help then. Of course, then it comes to a point where then you need to understand Active Directory at advanced level. And that's where we can help in this type of membership and this type of membership. So if you're a plus member, my high recommendation to you is yes, you will follow the first recommended videos, which is free videos and all that, this very basic stuff. And, and that, that's where you're going to learn uh, in a little bit more details about you know how to do things. But if you're serious about Active Directory and you wanna learn this at the next level, then you will go to our program, which basically if you go to our uh, community dashboard, so let me go back to the dashboard so you know where I came from. You'll basically come over here, you're gonna go click on uh, get certification and then get, get, get certification, you're going to click on start uh, self-paced learning program. Then you're gonna get to this page where you go from basics to now a little bit advanced, which is Windows Server Administration Active Directory and Group Policies Fundamental. Now, when you click on this course, this is where things get a little more advanced than just basics now, right? So if I open this course by clicking on start the course, yes, you will have to have a plus membership to watch all of these videos and then replicate everything in your virtual box if you have plus access. And of course, plus access is not limited to this course only. It goes beyond this course, which, I, which I'm going to show you how many courses we have built over here in JSS, you have unlimited access. So yes, it's, it's a very powerful access, even if you have a plus membership. As you can see, if you come down to this course right now, you're going to start learning about now servers. Because Active Directory is a part of a server, then you get to understand, okay, now I need to learn Active Directory from that level. And that is where when you come down to this module nine, managing Active Directory infrastructure, AD domain services, you install the whole domain controller from all the way ground to all the way using PowerShells, commands, infrastructure, coming down, you basically learn about more AD services, additional domain controller, you, you move domain controller to a site, monitor Active Directory, replicating Active Directory. This is what we do as a sysadmin then. So if you're new to technology, this is not going to be your focus. But if you're part of this program, then yes, you need to understand this because what we claim in this program is we don't just teach you to become a person who just want to reset password. We are teaching you so you can cover that as well, but at the same time, you have so much knowledge that when you start working in a company, you already know where things are coming from. So that fast pace your skills and, and the way you think in IT, because a lot of time people get stuck. They just can't think ahead because things are very limited to them. So now that limitation is broken if you're a part of that sysadmin world now, right? You wanna go towards that route, or even if you wanna go towards beyond that, because at some point you will be scanning Active Directory as a, as a sec admin or an, uh, infrastructure engineer doing a lot of big things, then you need to know this stuff, right? You can't just uh, rely on resetting your passwords or adding users in Active Directory. 
So it goes beyond that and you can come down to a part three, which is get gets even further FSMO roles and all that kind of stuff. And then good stuff right here. This is all the things that if you want to become a sysadmin, then people are going to ask you about forest and all that kind of stuff, right? Child domains, uh, read only domain controllers. And then once that's over, then you can come to the group policy section and that's where you learn group policy then, right? So this is where you kind of kind of get your hands dirty as a sysadmin then if you're able to go over these videos and replicate it in your own lab then i think you did a great job you don't need to master this because you only start doing that when you start working and take that stress at that time right now only take the stress of learning this and achieving this goal that your goal right now is to replicate this and you basically replicate into your own lab regardless of your membership right but if you do have access as a premium member now, yes, the same labs are available to you in your practice lab environment. So if a teacher is showing you exactly how to do this in exercise, let's say for example, if I click on it, a teacher is actually showing you this in this lab right now, Windows Server Administration Fundamental Course, and then basically uh, they're going to really teach you step by step. But you can actually go back to your course and open the same exact course over here and then basically follow it with that video. So these are the same labs right here. So that's the power that we give you that yes, we are using all these labs and everything, but we really help our members to target skills that they really need to learn something in very detail and advance. Now, after this, yes, you can even go beyond this level and you can go to the course which is called Identity. It's probably the, 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 the last course that you would wanna take in Active Directory. And when you come to this level, yes, you're talking about root certificates, all this enterprise set level setup in Active Directory, master roles. It's kinda of like you're going to be repeating the things you learn in the administration course, but here you're going a little step ahead now. Because in that you have one group policy module and you can see you have tons of group policy modules because it's talk about identity. So at the end, if you can manage to do that at this level, you learn all these things right here, then I can guarantee you when you are trying to move to a cloud, you will not be worried about the on-premises identity type of issues or Active Directory level issues. A lot of people come to me, they say, I got a cloud job, cloud admin job, because they did AWS, they did Azure, but they didn't have too much experience with on-premises, but the companies are still using on-premises environment, and this is where people get stressed. They come back to us and say, hey, what, what courses do I take? So that's the whole flow that I usually tell everybody who really already are at the cloud level, they're doing that kind of jobs, or if you are trying to transition from here, then you're gonna follow that plus and premium method uh, for uh, a, pre a premium with labs basically this you, you must have the active membership with labs so again you got three ways to start active directory skills in JSS free one I already showed you that plus with all the video access and the content and replicate it into your own labs premium if you want don't don't want to do this headache of your own lab then learn from our courses and, and do it in the the practice lab and that's how you learn active directory and uh, like I said at the end, if you're at this level, you're brand new, then just focus on, on this level and maybe you know this level as well because you get more access to the, the videos like Active Directory here. It does go through all the management uh, pieces too, like in Active Directory managing uh, backups and group policies and things like the OUs, like if you create a nesting OU, membership OUs, yes, you get a lot of access to videos uh, in plus membership. So yes, definitely it's a good membership for people uh, to take. So that's it. Uh, if you still have any confusion about Active Directory, let me know. Uh, last option that I want to show you, if any other features, this is just an example for you. Uh, our platform is very much designed for skills learning. So all you have to do is to go to the, the, the dashboard, click on uh, lab videos, and then you have uh, 7,000 plus videos available to you over here. So if you type Active Directory like that right now, you can see it's going to pull up all that 7,000 videos that we have here is going to start pulling up all these videos. So you can actually see, okay, they, they talked about Azure Active Directory in AZ-104, so I'm gonna search for that course. They talked about uh, install Active Directory domain services in Windows 2019 server and concept, which is a basically a, a, a course right here. So we just, this is the lab course, and we have the videos for it already available now. So yes, you can you can come back and, and kind of search it that way as well, and it doesn't matter what it is, DHCP, DNS, the things that we covered so 
uh, wish you all the best and that's how you learn active directory skills in javascript